Hey, it's Greg Milby, Community Storyteller for Kentucky's Heartland. This is the monthly Work Matters segment sponsored by the Kentucky Career Center Lincoln Trail. With major recent developments in the industrial sector coming to the region, the Heartland is poised for significant job growth. But what about local small businesses? Well, major job creating projects in the area create a boom in entrepreneurship too? And if so, will this increase in entrepreneurial activity happen concurrently with the arrival of projects such as Blue Oval or in the nearer future? To talk about this, I have Patricia Krausman, Center Director for the Kentucky Small Business Development Center in Elizabethtown here with me. Well, Patricia, first of all, thank you for being here today. And as, as somebody who works directly with uh, area small business owners on a regular basis, what is, and it, this might be a, a big thing for you, but what is your prediction on the trajectory of area small businesses for 2023? Uh, well, first of all, thank you, uh, Greg, for uh, having me today. And, and truthfully, I think that we all are uh, excited and engaged in the uh, new economic development opportunities, not only in uh, this area, but throughout the state. And so our region particularly is poised to experience a, a very strong economic boom. And this equates to small businesses as opportunity and certainly economic vitality in, in the next year, 2023. Um, based on the client feedback and our work in our communities uh, and recognizing that market opportunity, I, I anticipate uh, increases as not only startup businesses, but existing business growth this coming year. We're seeing a strong start and uh, only expect that to continue. Uh, yeah, as, as we're coming out of the pandemic, and I, I know COVID's still there, there's a lot of things that uh, we just never know in our world right now. But as we've come mm -hmm. out of this pandemic, uh, what have what have small businesses taken away from the challenges of operating and surviving in the midst of COVID nineteen? Their, I mean, their their challenges and their task lists were massive. What have they learned from this? Well, as we know, the pandemic impacted all of us individually uh, and certainly businesses. And so during the pandemic. Um, many small businesses honestly capitalized on changing market needs. So they were able to adjust their operating model, their distribution channels, and recognize the true value of connecting with customers. And, and value is the key word. I think value is that sense of knowing not only what your customer needs, but how do you best address that. Um, in a post-pandemic economy, we're seeing that businesses are very aware of the importance of flexibility, market uh, awareness, being aware of what is needed in the marketplace, and then more about real-time demand adjustments. How do you pivot or um, have contingency plans in place if things do change? And so I do think that the pandemic really brought that to the forefront and small businesses were able to meet that challenge and um, and use that to their advantage as we move forward. A lot of folks have dreams of opening their own business, their, their small business. Um, and, you know, it can be a daunting task. It could certainly, I mean, it could seem overwhelming to some people. But tell me a little bit about the work that the Kentucky Small Business Development Center does for local entrepreneurs. Certainly. Well, one of the things that we uh, pride ourselves on is our ability to work with that client through every step of their journey or their way, and there's no cost for our services. So we're available to help those small business owners, whether they're looking for a competitive edge in the marketplace or they're just starting out. We work with all levels of business, all different types of businesses, and we work together with them one-on-one -on -one to develop an action plan for their specific needs. So that uh, environment where we work with them directly allows us to be more specifically focused on their needs. Our Elizabethtown office, uh, we've been existing the small business community in the Lincoln Trail region for over 35 years. And we provide no cost consulting, minimal fee training services that help existing small businesses, excuse me, existing small businesses and potential entrepreneurs to succeed. Some of the things that we do is we work um, in one-on-one -on -one consultations. We have training workshops. Market research is a big part of our role in helping businesses with their loan packaging needs, um, assistance with financial projections, 
really all information um, that they need to make informed business decisions, which is key in being successful. Our, uh, we, we partner with lots of uh, small business service providers in the area. And one of those that we're seeing is uh, critical in today's environment is that partnership with the Kentucky Career Center in uh, the Lincoln Trail Kentucky Career Center. And uh, employers as well as job seekers have that one-stop connection to be able to uh, ensure that they are connecting in, in, in a sufficient and appropriate way. You know, one of the key things I think with employers is, is recognizing not only their need for employees, but finding ways to uh, ensure that they have the tools and resources that are necessary um, to locate those workers and, and, um, and get what they need. And the Kentucky Career Center is a great place to do that. It sounds like a, a one-stop shop to really kind of an instruction book, uh, an owner's operator's manual kind of for, for small businesses. And I know uh, from what I understand in, in talking to some other folks, uh, you guys are the Kentucky Small Business Development Center is taking part in a pretty exciting new development to further assist local entrepreneurs. Could, could you tell us more about this, uh, this, this program or this, uh, this uh, center that you're working with? Certainly. Well, we are uh, partnering in a new collaborative effort that provides one-stop small business services for the region. And it is uh, in partnership and alongside other economic and business development groups uh, in the newly formed Center of Kentucky Entrepreneurship, which is located in Elizabethtown at 1201 North Dixie. Um, Lisa Williams has worked on this project for a long time, and so we're now seeing the fruition of her efforts and, and the uh, collaboration and co-housing of small business service providers, including the Innovation Network, the Procurement Technical Assistance Center, which provides direct government uh, contracting support, the Kentucky Veterans Business Alliance, and, and others. And this allows us to work with small businesses in a central, dedicated uh, location so that we can provide our services and um, the synergy of working with other small business service providers so that we can support the uh, dynamic growth and development that's going on in our area. We cover, uh, the SBDC covers uh, the Lincoln Trail Area Development District and uh, Taylor and Washington counties out of our Elizabethtown office. Wow, I mean, it's kind of like a, uh, a Justice League of superheroes for small business. I mean, all these people <laughs> that you're mentioning, I, I've seen their work and the things they do and and you guys kind of collaborating together, that that only can mean great things for small businesses. Well, I think it's it's proven that we're um, the the networking and small business support in this region is phenomenal. I've had the opportunity and work regularly around the state, and I see that the things that we do here and the way we interact are are key in in that. Uh, growth and success. So it's it's really exciting that we're all being co-located co and that we can support each other in a uh, meaningful way. That's a good deal. And it means, it means great things for small business. Patricia, thank you for one, for being with us today to share your insight. And thank you for the important work that the Kentucky Small Business Development Center is doing to help area small businesses thrive in, in a time that... Uh, uh, we're seeing a lot of growth in this community, and it's good to see these small businesses start to prosper with that. So thanks for all the work that you do. Well, thank you, Greg, for having me. A special thank you again to Patricia Krausman, Center Director for the Kentucky Small Business Development Center in Elizabethtown, for joining me today. To learn about the services provided by the Kentucky Small Business Development Center, go to KentuckySBDC.com backslash Elizabethtown. To learn about the Kentucky Career Center Lincoln Trail, you can go to their website, ltcareercenter.org. I'm Greg Milby, community storyteller for Kentucky's Heartland, and this is the monthly Works Matters segment. <music>